Kelly's Eye, brought to you by Ellis Brown Architects. Peter, what's Kelly's Eye looking at today? Today, David, it's almost a case of deja vu because, well, two years ago, I think it is now, we stood in this very spot, uh, although I think it was a summer's evening, looking at uh, a group of yellow brick buildings with terracotta mouldings and sandstone sills and lintels. And very shortly afterwards, they, they pulled it down. Not because we'd been looking at it, I think we just got in in time. <laughs> And now we've come back and there in its place is a row of buildings which are yellow brick and terracotta mouldings. And I don't think it's real sandstone, but it's very good artificial sandstone. Uh, mouldings, um, lintels rather, and, and windowsills. So. Now, if, if there were trees going there, would, be, would they be maples? I don't know whether they'd be <laughs> maples or if we went inside and found a few sandwiches they had maple syrup. <laughs> But yes, that's what we're looking at. We're here on Woodburn Road, trying to avoid traffic going past, which is always a nuisance. Um, we're standing in the entrance of the Church of Latter-day Saints. We're standing on holly berries uh, beneath our feet at that time of the year. And we're looking at the new maples, which is a series of what appears to be one, two, three, four, five houses. Not flat. I don't think they're flats. Uh, there is a board down there. We should have read, uh, read what it is. But I think uh, they're actually townhouses, uh, which is unusual these days because most developers sort of put in apartments or flats to get as much on the site as, as possible. Um, and uh, as I say, they've been built um, uh, to a degree similar style. Um, not as elaborate as the pre previous building, of not, course. Not quite. What, what surprised me was that the the mouldings and the terracotta and that date stone of 1888 or whatever it was um, were carefully taken down yeah. uh, but they were put into crates and no doubt shipped away and, and sold on eBay or something <laughs> um, so what, what's gone back is all new um, I do think that when the scaffold is down and the gardens are, are in uh, if there's anybody from Ramsey not been to Douglas for a couple of years will probably drive past and not realise that these brand new houses have been built Others coming to the island, driving past, will not realise that they're new, but think that they're Victorian, uh, as was their forebearers. Um, you can't actually, because the, the scaffolding's still here, and it's difficult to see the very top of these houses, but it looks as if there are chimneys up there. Uh, there, there are indeed uh, chimney stacks. I don't know if the chimney pots are on. I, I've been past the... No, I don't think chimney pots are on. I, I don't know that they are structural proper chimneys, but certainly it was necessary in, in terms of the design um, because you're dividing them into houses to, to equally split them above the roof, otherwise it just becomes one sort of great yeah. mass. Um, the roof pitch is probably not quite as steep as it should be, but obviously it's wasted roof space. It's got trusses, it's not got um, attics and you've actually got uh, a, a mixture of, of oblong bays and octagonal, well they're not octagonal but it's what they're referred to, there's only three sides on them, mm. um, angled bays the angled bays don't go quite all the way up and what goes up behind them is actually castellated or crandellated on the top of which a section of the old house was They've got doors halfway up the wall They have, they're French windows <laughs> or as the advert says, a French widow in every room. <laughs> and um, they're going to have balconies. That shows on the little drawing down there. Unfortunately, uh, or I think unfortunately, they're going to be metal balconies. And mm. really, if they were built in Victorian times, they'd have taken a slab through and they would have had balustrading, um, which I think would have been more appropriate than this sort of Spanish balcony business, which tend to rust, or if, even if they're aluminium, they, they get pitted. Um, generally speaking, yeah, there's a good job. Um, to Kelly's eye, of course, uh, what is wrong is the windows, uh, not because they're in UPVC, but because they're so slender. And, and if you look up the road at the next house, the bay window, they're admittedly a different style. The, the, these, these mullions, these verticals, tended to be at least four inches uh, thick, and, and, and that's where they've gone wrong here. They're, they're too spindly, and they, they don't look as if they could hold the rest of the building up. And then the door handles on the front doors have uh, got those brass lever handles that you tend to put on inside and instead of having a, a big knob that you can you can grip to really pull the door closed behind you but otherwise but otherwise yeah fine I, I, I think it's a credit to whoever the architect was and to the developer for obviously he's paid for this decided to do it in this style um, 
to what degree the planning people have had an input, I, I don't know. I, I would think it, it's the developers decided this is what I want to do, yeah. um, because other developers do what they want to do, and it, it, it certainly um, not necessarily with good advice. Um, but anyway, the, this just chap has gone along, and I, I think it is hats off to whoever it is. Uh, well done, and, and I hope you're successful in selling your houses. Many of the most iconic buildings around the island have been designed by Ellis Brown Architects. Keep up with Ellis Brown today on Facebook or via ellisbrown.in.